Wilson published a very revisionist five-volume textbook series in 1902 titled The History of the American People. In his books, he romanticized the Confederacy during the Civil War and described the Ku Klux Klan as roving knights errant, an invisible empire of the South bound together in a loose organization to protect the southern country of some of the ugliest hazards of a time of revolution. From 1902 to 1910, Wilson was president of Princeton, where he developed a reputation for his educational reform policies. However, during his tenure as president of that university, he also prevented the enrollment of black students. It was at this time that he entered politics and became the governor of New Jersey in 1910, ensuring that segregation was maintained. In 1912, the Democrats nominated Wilson for president, selecting the governor of Indiana, Thomas Marshall, as his vice presidential running mate. 